Demand more. Get all max. Being known as one of the stronger guys that are on stage or in the sport, um, some of it is a big genetic thing. Like some guys I've seen are 150 pounds but can squat 800 pounds, and that genetically they're strong. And they're you know you can't correlate a lot with size with strength. They don't kind of go together. But um, you can increase your strength obviously by training hard, heavy. Um, those do play big roles in it. So when it comes to training a failure. I usually, the last couple sets of an exercise is what I take to failure. I don't really try to fatigue every single set because you're not gonna be able to increase your weight, increase your reps when you start fatiguing too early. So it's kind of like, you don't wanna spend all your, put all your eggs in one basket kind of thing. Each set, increase the weight. And as each set increases, I start fatiguing in my, you know, I'd say 10 reps and then nine reps, but I don't go to ultimate failure. Ultimate failure is where you just can't move the weight anymore and you have to have somebody spot you and kind of get some force reps out of it. But the fatigue factor is really what helps separate you and take your body to the next level because you're pushing your body into a uncomfortable zone. It's getting to a place where it doesn't want to go, and that's where you have to take your body to really make some changes. You have to get a little uncomfortable and push yourself to that, past that, that fatigue factor, and you just really got to demand more out of it. So demand more, demand all that.